The Department of Medicine at the University of Wisconsin-Madison offers medical ground rounds each week during the academic year. All are welcome and encouraged to attend in person, but when clinical duties or travel prevent live attendance, the Department of Medicine online CME application allows you to watch videos of grand round lectures and earn continuing medical education credit by completing an assessment quiz. This system is available to department members as well as alumni and colleagues worldwide. To get to the CME app, visit cme.medicine.wisc.edu. There are also links to it from the Department of Medicine website. The first time you log in, you'll need to create an account. If you have a UW-Madison Department of Medicine appointment, use your departmental username and password to log in. Please note this is your Department of Medicine account login, not your UW-Net ID. If you are not affiliated with the department, register for an account by clicking the Register for Account button. To create an account, enter your email address. You'll receive a verification message sent to that email address. Click the link in the email to confirm that you want to create an account, then provide the additional information requested and choose a password. Once registered, you can use your provided email address and password to log in in the future. The dashboard allows you to easily access and update your profile and to view presentations that are available for online CME credit. Continuing education credit for each lecture is available until one year after the date on which the live lecture was presented. You can resort the lectures by clicking on any of the column headings. For example, to resort by date of CME credit availability, click on the Credit Available Until heading. Doing this will make all lectures that are available for online CME credit appear at the top of the list and cause lectures for which credit has expired to appear at the bottom. Select a lecture that you're interested in and click View for CME Credit. You'll be asked to verify your learner account details. If anything needs to be updated, go ahead and make corrections. They'll be saved automatically. Then click Next Step. Note that there is a progress bar at the top of the screen so you can keep track of the steps you need to complete to earn CME credit for the presentation. Disclosures for the lecture you're about to view appear on the next screen. These include information about the target audience and scope of practice for the entire Grand Round series, as well as learning objectives for the specific lecture you've chosen. If the presenter or individuals involved in organizing the lecture series have any disclosures, they will appear on this page. Make sure you review this information, then click Next Step. On the next screen, you can view a video of the lecture. The learning objectives are available on the sidebar for reference. After pressing play, if you want to view the video full screen, click on the box icon in the lower right of the video screen. Press Escape to exit full screen mode. After watching the video, click Next Step to take the online self-assessment. To gain CME credit for the presentation, you must get 100% of the questions correct. You can take the quiz more than once if needed. Please note that your answers will not be saved if you return to the previous step to re-watch the video. Click on the green button at the bottom to submit your quiz. After you successfully pass the quiz, you'll be asked to provide an evaluation of the presentation. And that's it. You've earned CME credit. If you need to download your credit letter, go back to the dashboard and click on the Credit Summary tab. All credits that you have earned will be summarized on this page. Download a PDF of a credit letter for any individual session by clicking Download Credit Letter next to the title of that session. Please note that this is not an official transcript. If you need to request an official transcript from the Office of Continuing and Professional Development, click on the link at the upper right to be directed to the OCPD website. Credits may be in unofficial status until OCPD has processed them, so please allow some time for your most recent credits to appear on official transcripts. If you have attended live Grand Rounds presentations, credits earned from attending in person will be summarized in this system as well. Click on the Live Attendance tab for this summary. The dashboard also allows you to view which identification card is linked to your live attendance at Grand Rounds. UW Health and or UW WISC cards can be used to scan in at the beginning of Grand Rounds. The first time you scan in, your card will need to be activated and linked to your email address. If you are ever issued a replacement card, let department staff know when you scan in. If you ever encounter a technical problem when using the system, such as an error, click on Report Problem at the lower right-hand side of the screen. For general feedback, please contact marketing at medicine.wisc.edu. 
Thank you. We hope that you enjoy using the Department of Medicine online CME application. We are dedicated to innovative medical education programs, and this initiative was designed to help meet our mission of advancing the health of the people of Wisconsin and beyond.